Hello, this is Elitia 3D. I'm honored to be with you in this moment where we are going to see some different important settings on the doll tool. So let's move on. Here we can see that we are in toolbox and then our tool is called doll. This is the one selected. And what we do for the next is to open by double click. Here you see that there is a doll default settings. We have some different list of type of dolls. So on the first we have empty doll opening 20. When we open we find some different types and design of empty doll opening. So on the first we have act top doll opening 20, gothic doll opening 20 and horseshoe doll opening 20 and ogi centered opening 20. Rectangular doll opening 20 and Saracenic doll opening. So these are the different types of opening dolls that we have in empty dolls. So let's jump on garage dolls. In garage dolls we have garage double dolls. You can see that it have the difference. It have the different surface and here the garage doll. It is the double rotating doll. And also we have the high speed doll, which is known as rolling doll. It's opened uh, upward. And also we have the high speed roll up doll, overhead garage doll, and uh, tilt garage doll, and vertical sliding garage doll. So here on the next hinged doll, we have some different many types and design of doll. You can select each and every one according to the purpose or according to the functionality of it on a room of the house. So we have also the rotating doll. These are the pivot doll or revolving doll. So next one is sliding doll 20. In the sliding doll also we have some different types and design of the sliding doll which can pass through and check whether you can find each and every or you can find some preferred or fit design that you can use according to the location or functionality of that doll and the sliding folding doll also these are the sliding folding doll where we have sliding folding multi-panel and the sliding folding multi-panel doll 20 and beef all doll 20 so there is store front front 20. These are also the different design that we find in the these store front 20. So let's check some different settings of the doll. Let's back on the hinged doll and then we select this doll 20 which is a single doll. So by selecting a single doll you can see that here on the light side we have preview and positioning in the preview and positioning is where we have to set the width of the doll the height of the doll the seal to story settings and reveal to the wall face so this as the single doll it is having 900 millimeter which is equal to 90 centimeter and also the height of the doll is 2 meter point 1 which is equal to 2100 millimeter so if you want to see your doll in 2d how it will be displayed you have to provide in preview here it is in ground floor here it is in elevation how it will be looking like here it is in three dimension so as we have seen the dimension of our also we have to check seal to story it is seal to story zero and also it is equal to a hundred millimeter which is equal to 10 centimeter but most of the time i use zero and reveal to the wall face the reveal to the wall face or reveal to the wall core we select the reveal to the wall face also these are some different introduction of the wall settings in the preview and positioning so we have a hinged doll settings 
in hinge doll settings is where we find some different many doll settings so here in the normal nominal size and tori lens here you can find there is some also wall hole dimension there is rival dimension unit dimension and egress dimension roof dimensions these are the dimensions of our wall if you want you can change as you want so here we let on on the doll settings here we have provided 845 you can edit this dimension as you want so for the next we have doll settings and openings in the doll settings we have doll leaf and handle in the doll settings uh, by pressing through on the doll roof there is some different many design of the doll that you can select from so these are the main different design that you can pick one style according to the functionality of that doll according to the location of that doll and according to the design that fits with your house so and also you have handle here select the opening handle there is some different handles and knobs that you can use on your doll so here there is open opening type you have to provide side hang or double acting from simple ribbit or double ribbit so there is a detailed level on the 3 detailed level or 2 detailed level it is B M B V O when you have to provide the good appearance of your doll in two dimension you have to deal with two detail level where the line have to be visible while the thickness of the frame or other particle of the doll so here we have um, the next frame and roof here there is a list of each and every frame tool you can or each and every thing that you can set on the doll there is a frame and roof natural ventilation door roof type handle uh, and other many things but here we are on the frame roof this is the frame and roof here in the frame roof is where you can set the size of the frame uniform frame width here we have like um, 40 but you can provide another thickness of the frame as you want here also there is frame thickness and wall thickness so let's continue here there is a natural ventilation you have to activate the natural ventilation all disactivate also here there is that different design of the doll where you have to set the rower frame dimension up all side also there is handle settings and handle designs where you have to provide kickboard outside or inside and there is a doll opening type as when you want to open your doll in 3d there is override model view option when you want to remove the opening line you have to select override model view option but when you want to put on that line you have to provide the the open line by putting on the opening line here so it continue by the appearance of the doll where we can change the different colors of the doll you have the frame outside you can select the color of the frame outside and uh, from inside also you can select the color roof outside you select the color roof inside you select the color and also for the grass you can select also the grass color the grass brew grass grass first grass lamp grass miller or grass satin and so we continue by going masonry arc and also you see here, here there is a casing outside and inside ganging and uh, where we have seal doll seal over rise and uniform casing width and cover outer wall surface so here also we have to provide the casing and also east dimension these are the different settings that you can provide here there is a uh, the casing surface color also you can change and finally we deal with the 
use fill in the 2D doll colors here we can edit all the color of the settings in the two dimensions and also here there is some different um, new dimensions of of the of the minimal spaces on the doll and finally we did we get that description so briefly that was the that was all about the hinge doll settings so let's move on to floor plan section these are the different way you can use them different types of line on that doll and also you select the colors due to the functionality of that doll or due to what you want due to the color that you like to use also there is dimension marker dimension marker you can see that here we have no marker but you can use the basic window dolls the marker 20 or doll stamp so here also we have a category and property and it is categorized they all found in the doll here and also uh, as you have some different uh, types of design of the doll is somehow also the settings change a bit according to the hinge or according to the number of shutter the doll is having or according to the type of doll whether it is a sliding doll tating doll or garage doll so due to that difference these are the main main intro settings that you have or that can help you for you to apply a doll in a world so please don't forget to subscribe